Hi guys, it's Jen here at Checker Joy, and this time I have another haul video. So, the combination of it being a free comic book day this weekend and also uh, having stopped at a flea market means that I have accumulated a lot of new, to me, stuff. Um, not all brand new, but at least to me. So, yay, more haul stuff. It was free comic book day, so I got my three free comics. Um, I picked up Doctor Who. Of course, I love Doctor Who. Uh, this has four short adventures. One for each of the new Doctors. 9, 10, 11, and 12. And I'm just super excited for these. We get to see Oswald in the 12th Doctor's adventure. Um, the ninth Doctor's one has Rose and Captain Jack. Um, and 10 and 11 have some new companions that are new to me, so that was exciting to be able to see all the Doctor's adventures. Other one I got was Bongo's free one that has like the Simpsons comics in here. So we get to see Bart and Homer as superheroes and then several other short adventures. So standalone comics are awesome. It's just fun. And then I have Oddly Normal by Otis Frampton. This is issue number one. And I've heard good things about this series, so I am excited to check it out. So, yay! Those are my free comics. Um, I'm not a jerk, so I did actually buy things in the comic book store, too. Um, I bought issue number three of Dark Gently, A Spoon Too Short. Love Dark Gently. Need to actually read the series, but I'll at least accumulate them all. Um, so excited. So I got a bunch of not brand new comics, but new to me also. Going through the bargain bins. Um, so I have The Young Adventures Presents Hawkeye. This is issue six of six. The main writer is Matt Fraction on this, and I really love Kate Bishop as Hawkeye. I also have Hawkeye Annual Number One, um, also by Matt Fraction, which uh, is Clint Barton's Hawkeye comic series, but this issue uh, specifically follows Kate Bishop. So excited for this. Also, I really love the art in these comics. They are so, so pretty. It's like my favorite comic book art. I love these ones so much. In the vein of other comic books that I have read, I have Daredevil. These are by Mark Waid um, and others. So I have issue 1.5 and 10.1. Um, I like Daredevil. He's so cool. And then I have She-Hulk number one. Um, I've been reading the A-Force comics. I think that's... Yeah, those are the female ones. And I'm loving She-Hulk in those. So now, I get, now I'm going to go back and read um, her, her individual comics um, and her story. So. Well, she's green. How can you not love a character who's just all green all the time? And then the last one, which I'm super excited for, was I found three of the four issues of Loki, Ragnarok, and Roll by Boom Comics. So these are based off the Norse mythology of Loki and Odin and the uh, gods of Asgard. Um, but in these, Loki leaves Asgard and comes down to Earth, and he joins a rock band. And I love the adventures he gets into and the mischief he causes. Um, and his band is like the Tricksters, which is such a cool touch. There's also um, appearances by several other mythological characters and gods in here, which I love. Like the sp uh, flying spaghetti monsters in these comics. Um, so I have already read these, but I'm excited to own. Own more of them. Own them. I'm excited to own these. That's it. That's what I mean to say. Yeah. That's my comic book haul for this month, the first part of this month, whatever. Super excited. So for books, I won a book and a Goodreads giveaway this month. Um, this is Could It Be Magic by Kathleena L. Contreras, which I probably just butchered that name. Um, this is about two wizards who fall in love, Amethyst and Jas. So I love magic. I love fantasy novels. I love romance. I'm really hoping this book will be amazing. Um, plus the title, Could It Be Magic, just reminds me of the Barry Manilow song, so now that it's just stuck 
in my head. So thank you. The rest of the books I have are used books. So I got Under the Greenwood Tree by Thomas Hardy. I honestly can't remember what this book is about. But I know that Thomas Hardy wrote Tess of the D'Urbervilles and that's amazing. So I'm hoping this will also be amazing. And anyway, it's an old, like, hardcover and it's pretty. So, if nothing else, it's pretty. <sighs> I still have The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. In French, it's an abridged version for a classroom and it is marked up with notes. But my French is not that good, so this might actually end up being advantageous to me to see somebody else's notes as I try to work through the French. But I just think it was such a cool find. And also another really pretty old book. Next I have A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. I love Charles Dickens writing, so hoping I will love this, especially since this is one of his better known, more talked about novels. I also got Anne of Green Gables by L. M. Montgomery, which I love this book. I love Anne Shirley as a character and all her adventures she gets into, and I love the Cuthberts, so I am really excited to own this book. Finally, to have my own copy. Um, this is an unabridged uh, version, so yay. I love Anne Shirley, okay? amazing. And next we lose the white balance. Um, <laughs> this is What Happened on Fox Street by Trisha Springstub, um, which is a local author to me in Cleveland, and I need to read more local authors. And so because I haven't read this book yet, I don't know how to properly describe it, so I'm gonna read the inside cover uh, blurry thing, because um, I don't think I can shorten this any with it making sense. Fox Street was a dead end. In Mowrat's opinion, this was the only one of many wonderful, distinguishing things about it. Mo lives on Fox Street with her dad and her little sister, the wild child. Their house is in the middle of the block, right where our heart, heart would be if the street were a person. Fox Street has everything. A piano player, a fix-it man, the city's best burrito makers, a woman who cuts Mo's hair just right, not to mention a certain boy who wants to teach her how to skateboard. There's even a mean, spooky old lady if ringing doorbells and running away or leaving them mice and mailboxes is your idea of fun. Summers are Mo's favorite time, favorite time because her best friend Mercedes comes to stay. Most important though, Fox Street is where all Mo's memories of her mother live. The idea of anything changing off Fox Street is unimaginable until it isn't. This is the story of an unforgettable summer, a summer of alarming letters, mysterious errands, and surprising relationships revelations, and how a tuft of bright red fur gives Mo the courage she needs. Also got Prep by Curtis Sittenfield. I don't know, I am just drawn to this book. Like, there's nothing about it that I can pinpoint and say, oh, I really love this part of it. But I have seen this book multiple times and I've been like, I should read that, so. I bought it. <laughs> it was used. It was cheap. You know? We're going to take a chance on this book. Um, books that I am more excited about. I have King John by William Shakespeare, um, or The Life and Death of King John. And this is one of the Shakespearean plays that I don't already own. So excited to add this to my collection. I also got The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson. I probably butchered that name also. Um, this one has gotten a lot of good reviews and is incredibly popular. So I'm going to try and read it. And then the last book I picked up is Beautiful Ruins by Jess Walter. And I love this cover. I am in love with it. It's so pretty. I love the blues and the greens and the houses. And it's just so lovely. So pretty. So, so pretty. Um, whatever's on the inside is really just secondary to this cover. That is my haul for this first week in May accumulated enough stuff that it needs to be its own video. Let me know if you have read any of these or if you've heard about them. If you want to hear me do reviews, uh, make sure you put that down. I will try to prioritize them. But yeah. Anyway, peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.